Now, in today's session, we're going to be talking about how to program the Trilogy T3 locks with the PCI cable and your laptop. So you're going to take your laptop and the cable out to the lock on the door. You're going to plug into it and you're going to upload your data. Now, there's a few things you need to do before you get to the lock uh, in the software to ensure that you uh, get communication the first time. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your PCI cable, which is this cable here. Uh, it is the AL-PCI2U. That's the Trilogy Lock Programming Cable. And you're going to take this end that has the USB um, on it, and you're going to plug it into your, com your computer. The other end is going to go into the lock, which is this end down here with the two prongs. Now, the prong with the black tab, and you can see the black tab here sticking off the side, that prong will go into the black port underneath the keypad on the lock. So you're going to take that, uh, that prong, that, um, those two prongs, and you're going to plug them into your lock. Now, before you do that, there's a couple of things we need to do in the software. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, plug our cable into our computer, and then we're going to go up under Tools, and we're going to go to COM port setup and test. Now here, this will do a loopback test. What that will do is uh, ensure that the computer knows which COM port to send the information to so it can be transferred to the lock. So I like to uh, do test all. Now, you may have only one COM port, you may have three, you may have more than that, but I have two here, COMs three and COM four. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, highlight the button uh, for test all and click on test. And one of these will come back with no loopback data found, and the other will come back with loopback test passed. So the one with no loopback data found, that is not the valid COM port. It's the one with the test that's passed. So in my case, it's COM4. So I'm going to highlight the radio button, and I'm going to click set. Now you do this test with the two prongs. Uh, the end that goes into the lock, you don't plug it into the lock. You leave it uh, out of the lock to get the uh, proper test. Then when you go out to the lock, you're going to plug it into uh, that uh, end of the cable into the locks. Again, making sure that the prong with the black tab goes into the black port. Now you're going to prepare your software before you prepare the lock. So what I do in preparing the software is I go under communication and I click either rescind, uh, receive from lock or send to lock. Now you do whichever one you need. If you want to retrieve the audit trail from the lock, you click on receive lock uh, from lock. If you want to program the lock and send the information, click on send. So that's what I'm going to do. Now here you can choose whichever uh, features or whichever uh, things you need to send. If you want to send just the users, and the date and time, you just check the boxes. Now, I always send the date and time. And I do this because the clock and the lock can speed up or slow down, and it may not be on the correct time that you need a schedule to work. Uh, so you want that to be um, uh, on the correct date and time for your event log and for your schedules. So I'm just going to check the box all, and that will send everything. Now, at this point, I will hover my mouse over the start, and now I will get the lock prepared to, uh, have, to receive the information. Now, after you get everything set up in the software, you're going to take your PCI cable, which has the two prongs, uh, the end with the two prongs, and you're going to plug it into the lock under the, with the uh, uh, ports here. You have a black port. And you have a red port. Now the prong with the black tab, so this one right here, this prong here with the black tab, that goes into the black port. So you're going to plug it in and then you're going to prepare the lock for the uh, receiving the data. Now this is a lock that has never been programmed so it does not have a PC download code in it. So we have to put the lock into uh, program mode and that's putting in your existing master which in this case is one two three four five six and then pushing the AL button so I'm going to put one two three four five six and then hit the AL that puts the lock into program mode now you have to put the lock into PC communication mode uh, to do that you're going to use function 58 
uh, you're going to hit the AL and then 5, 8, star. And that puts the lock into PC communication mode. So AL, 5, 8, star. Now with the lock ready to receive the programming, I will click on start. And then it verifies the lock model and it starts sending all of the information. So it's going to send my users, my schedules, features, everything that I have checked here. Now this can take a little bit of time depending on um, how uh, much information you're actually sending to the lock. Now once it's complete, the lock beeps and then you can click close. Um, you to take it out of program mode, you push and hold any button on the keypad until the lights blink and it beeps. And now the lock is out of program mode. We unplug it and then we can use our credentials uh, that uh, we have added in here. So uh, this is pin number and the lock works.